And welcome back to Press X for Chromosomes. We're going to continue on our way with our hilariously tall person. It kind of reminds me of um, the Black Mage from Final Fantasy. Severely stretched out, though. Well, they yes. went to the fucking Willy Wonka fucking <laughs> Final Fantasy and just fucking, let's laugh at Taffy Machine, you. <laughs> what was that fucking bad guy from, like, 4? Final Fantasy 4? He's like... Th- like his name starts with a J, oh, and he's like a fucking clown, I, yeah, like a jester. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, I don't remember his name either. But then again, I don't. I didn't. Really you can ever fight play. him in uh, Kingdom Hearts, uh, the mobile game. Oh, yeah. Weird. Yeah, okay. I, I was like, I was like weird, and Eric's yeah. like, yeah, that's kind of weird, right? Because I played, I played the ones that got ported to the DS at one point. Um, never beat them. I know people love, like, four and six, but I never played them personally. Mm, I don't, I have, I, maybe it's just my life currently, but I feel like I have very low patience for fucking, like, RPGs. That's, they do, they are definitely a time sink. Yeah. Because you have to learn the world and shit Mm. like that. That's why I haven't, I've kind of dropped the Witcher. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep playing it, but I need to have dedicated time to fucking play it. So I'm right. not like, especially because I get distracted easily in my game. That's fair. Um, I played Final Fantasy five. Yeah, people like I think like yeah, five was five four, was five, and six. People love, but yeah. Then I get a little confused because the numbers change depending on Japanese or right America. English, yeah, yeah. So fucking that's why I was like I don't remember exactly which one. I just know it's those like three. I have to check with the owner. Then check with him. I've got less than an hour till trial. Oh, fuck. That guy might know us. Ciao, ragazzo. Another beautiful day in hell. You seem like a well-to-do demon. Very put together. Upscale like a camel. Perhaps you know Andrelfus. Andy? He is my handler. Uh, Uh. It's us, Roberto. The humans from earlier, Milo and Lola, they are in. Bella Orte. Wonderful. Since I helped him, that's why I'm hoping. <laughs> oh, right. Good luck to you, my dear hair friend. My hair thanks you. Shut up and leave that handsome demon alone. Okay, <laughs> you guys are all set. She's in the back. Move. Walk straight to the kitchen and get into the flower drawer. Of course, <laughs> of course. Good evening, madam. Right this way. What did she say? Good evening, madam. Good right man. this way. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, sir. I thought you were a woman at first. <sighs> that is a good way to fucking wow, immediately shit. get someone to fucking, like, not pay any more attention. Yep. <laughs> I do enjoy, though, that the yeah, models are the same, but the voices can be more feminine or masculine. <laughs> can't speak, I don't think. We're gonna need a refill and uh, something to fish out the teeth. Saving up for college? Huh? There's not enough liquor in my liquor. Gerald? Yeah, yes? Why don't you give Father Barleycorn here a break, all right? Okay, fine. Sorry, Barley. Didn't know you didn't know how to make a drink. <laughs> it's all right, Jerry. Thank you, Judge Apollyon. <laughs> Holy shit. The, uh, the monarch, uh, Apollyon, she's right there. I can, I can see her. Okay, well, it's, it's hard to really walk. Uh, Steadily. Just take it slow and don't draw attention to yourself. Ourselves. I'm going so slow, dude. <laughs> I'm going to drink first. Are you kidding oh, me? Yes. This is a cool bar. This is this does look really cool. Wow, supermodel convention show up. What can I get you? Okay, apparently we're good looking. Courage, uh, rich asshole. Potato vodka, cigarette butts, the wailing of injured children melted. And what is that word? And I don't fucking know. Witty vaude villain. And then look at Courage. God, it's like a rich asshole. Do it. We, I mean, we can take a drink. We don't have to take the option. Yeah, or vaudeville could be fucking funny too. It's witty. Yeah. So, but I don't know what she likes. I'm gonna go with uh, funny, just in case. God, the guy next to me is chugging exhibitionists and won't stop making awful jokes. Someone cap his tab, please. 
And we're only gonna get one drink. <laughs> Why do you ask? Because you sound like you got a baby stuck in your throat with that nasally human voice. It's healthy season, so... I just want to know if I should put on a mask. <laughs> hey, I might be sick. It was so cold in my apartment, I chipped my tooth on my suit. Huh. <laughs> that sounds like something two idiot humans disguised as one gangly demon would say. <laughs> Not that that would ever happen. Oh, oh man, that would be a surprise. Yeah. That guy oh, over yeah, there. Totally. Party with the paralegals. Hello, fellow, fellow specters of malevolence. Can I, can I help you with something? <laughs> how's your, how's your night been so far? Good. <laughs> I don't know what to do. How's, uh, how's your night going? Good. 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 I like how the arms are like proportionate, but they don't make any goddamn sense. They make no sense. All right. Whoa, this. We took a turn somewhere because. Oh, gross, guys. What, what's going on? I can't, I can't see. It doesn't smell like my grandmother's basement. Man, thank God I'm on top. Your delicate <laughs> sensibilities could not have handled this, Milo. They're doing things with their bodies that only starfish should get away with. Oh, I hate being on Thrada. Boy, yeah, I wanted to look. I should take notes. They should let more people in here. Whoever can't see us is really missing out. I <laughs> feel like I should nice. get slapped in the face a bunch. <laughs> and is that guy just on a synth up there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like a weird like... like organ synth. Yeah. It's better than getting the high look okay, the lady well, at the bottom. I feel like we'll be back here. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should have the rich asshole or something. Because the vaudeville is very jokey. Yeah, and I I'm scared of her. I swore I never date anyone further than five. Well, your profile says you're over six feet, and I swore I'd never date liars. Next. <laughs> well, you have the obvious demonic entity here. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> These blue devils taste like nails, but if you want to act like a rich jackass, you kind of don't want to have a cho you kind of don't have a choice. And I never have to take the option. I just no. fucking. It's just nice to have. Mind, yeah. Mind if we smell that? It smells like a, a pancreas, right? Like a human's gut line. Oh well, let's not. Be, I don't think I can do this, Lola. Did you say something? Could have sworn I heard something. I'm not quite ready to order yet, plebe. Give us. Give me a, a minute. Oh fuck you! You think I'm the help? <laughs> With that suit, why wouldn't it? Actually, you know what, guys? I don't think it's the stuff. My Mephistopheles beard this place is just going to dung beetles, isn't it? Shit, in its heyday, I'd be having horse hay shoved up my penis hole by now. <laughs> but today, I'm stuck debating the rotten odors of humanity with you jackanapes. Yeah, and we don't fox trot as much as we used to either. I apologize on behalf of my friend here. He's usually not this uh, splenetic. That's not a real word. Ill-tempered, spiteful, it... Buy a thesaurus. You buy a thesaurus. God, how do you stand this garish oaf, Polly? Hey, watch who you call an oaf. That's one letter from loaf, and I do not. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got, God. celiac disease? If you did, you'd remember. Trust me. It's not every day you get to meet someone who wears two watches to bed. All right, I'm going to reload. Anybody want another? I want more of this. Yeah, it seems to be working out pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, okay, got it. I'll be back. Well, I guess introductions are in order. I'm Adrelphus, defense attorney. Friends call me Andy. That's Delbert, my paralegal. No one calls him anything. <laughs> I'm Sister Mary Worthorn, newly counsel for the who gives a shit firm of I'm making this up. How's everyone doing? Oh, uh, good. And how are you doing, stranger? <laughs> Did anyone, uh, no one caught this fellow's name yet, right? Uh, no, we were just getting to it. But I feel like I've seen you before. <sighs> Fuck, which one? Lutzelfrau? My name is Lutzelfrau. Lutzelfrau? Really? Oh, you're a witch, right? Oh, I think I've heard of yeah, you. Yeah, it's a lady that was She's up there. She's the one that makes pies out of kittens and washes her clothes in, uh, what, what was it? Feces. Ah, feces, right. Lutzelfrau. I'm a total recipe hound. Tell me, what's your secret ingredient for those candy apples again? Oh, yeah. Please, indulge us. It help out my mother's cooking. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Jeez. Just try your mom, why don't you? Help. It's a bit outside your price range. 
God, the jack hole ahead of me could decide between a bitter or an ale. <laughs> Look who it is. Gerald, I'd like you to meet Lutzel. Ah, the witch of the Black Forest. Nice to meet you. So anyway, Rory stayed out all hours with Satan and Caligula last night. <laughs> oh, no. So of course, the monster didn't show up for her shift this morning. So guess who had to butcher 300 humans by hand? Oh, Gerald? you poor thing. Seriously? Pick your spots, man. I'm trying to relax and keep bringing up work. I'm sorry. We can't all be fancy lawyers. Some of us have real jobs. Don't we all? I think our new friend probably knows something about that. Where are you working now, Lutzel Pratt? I was just about to ask the same question. <laughs> you bootlickers sure do love to, to talk about work, don't you? Can't, can't get enough of your jobs. What a weird word, job. Sounds like a, a weird kind of animal, right? Can't talk, honey. Going job hunting. <laughs> Wait, that is not it. Okay, cats and kittens. Trials in a few. In the courtyard, yes? I'll trust you all to finish your drinks on time. Yes, ma'am. All right. I'll be in back if anyone needs anything. Ooh, I gotta go uh, destroy the bad poop. But maybe I'll and I don't mean pooping. <laughs> but I do like seeing feces everywhere. Uh, you must think you're the cock of the walk, don't you? You just like spread them on the walls, smear them around. The chalk of the damn chalk. <sighs> Whatever. Bye. It's been strange. Polly's been really busy with something lately, something secretive. But uh, I'm sorry, are, are we keeping you? Your wonky eye was kind of following Polly for a moment there. No, no, go on about your, uh, your boss. Well, I shouldn't be really talking about this, but you know our client, Roberto Spaghetti? I <laughs> but anyways, the kid swears up and down that he's innocent. Like, to a degree that's unusual for down here. But Polly, she seems more interested in Satan's affairs. Affairs? It's just... Uh, Lucifer's been, well, hell hasn't been a source of inspiration for a while. Demons and people aren't exactly skipping to work. It's not fun anymore. And it used to be. It should be. We all know it, and I think, I just think Polly's maybe possibly looking for, well, let's call it a promotion. If you can read between the lines here. I'm following. What, like a hostile takeover? How would that even work? <laughs> Beelzebub's been running things for practically a millennia now, and... Satan, if he's not careful, he's looking for another fall. We shouldn't be talking about this, Andy. She's just in the other room. All right, all right. I should get back to work anyway. Courthouse open. All soon. right. That's Can't lucrative. Yeah. yeah. Polly just kicks him off the top all of right, his giant fucking spire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kicks Donk. Him. Yeah. That's kind of then he has to wait in his own line. <laughs> oh God. Standing on the precipice of the coup, right? I know I shouldn't get like excited about it. Yeah, no, it's crazy. I thought it was a lot to handle when those two fast food restaurants were smashing bottles in each other's parking lots. Yeah, I don't know if I want to be around when uh, stuff starts happening. Let's just find Sounds the exciting, though. out drink the judge. Yeah, are you sure you want him back? Let's uh, take a look. On my fucking way. <laughs> Whoop, let me squeeze through here really fucking quick. Pardon me, don't mind me. Excuse me, thank you, thank you. Lying is an accursed vice. It is only our what is with poetry this session? And make us human. That's Montaigne, about a dozen years before he died of tongue paralysis. Everyone says God is a humorist, but what they really mean is, he's a sadist. It's sometimes easy to confuse the two. Wouldn't you agree, Lutzelfrau? <laughs> She's on to us! Can I pay somebody else to answer? Uh... Can I possibly pay, like, the waiter or something to come in here and just give you the answer you want? Um. Oh, God. Chinese are gonna be angry at me tomorrow. <laughs> You're trying to do you? <laughs> turned me, a demon, into two separate adorable human beings. You're Lola and Myla, heirs presumptive to the Amber Throne. The king and queen of alcohol, by the grace of Lucifer and his partying realms and puking territories. You should be very proud to have made it this far. A drink! But this is oh! <laughs> Come on! I can't be a pompous douchebag anymore! Please, we, we, uh... Okay, look, your, your honor, we just want your seal, okay? We, we won't tell anyone what, what we saw in here, or, or anywhere in hell. 
and for that Guess matter. we will forget all about all this stuff that is permanently burned into my retinas. I could not care any less how many podcasts you do when you get back, child. Did my consorts discuss with you any plans I may be concocting to replace Lucifer as the devil? Think before you answer, please. Uh... Be honest? Yes, they... they did. Yes, they did. <sighs> they gossip worse than swine in a slaughterhouse. You are forgetting you ever heard any such... Story. Yeah, this is because I wanted to hold it against yeah, her, if anything. Really? Right. I mean, what story? Montaigne, in his wisdom, put only stubbornness below deceit in his ranking of manner defenses. Because she might be more I willing to help us. Back. But it could have backfired at the same time. Yeah. Even so, I have lied tonight and will lie more to annihilate a particularly virulent strain of stubbornness from someone very near and dear to me. And you two are going to help me do it. Sure. Yeah, um, how? Andy. Yes, Your Honor. I need you to observe and assist our latest appointee to the public defender's office. <laughs> uh, seriously? Yes. Um, okay. Whoa, 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 wait, what? That, what? That will be all, Andrew Alphys. Thank you. Oh, that's happening. You are now part of Roberto Spaghetti's defense team, Luxel. <laughs> Spaghetti's. And as part of that defense team, you are going to ensure that he receives a guilty verdict. Can you stop meowing up there, dude? <laughs> You're very so many words. For which you'll be granted the opportunity to outdrink me for my seal. If you win, of course. Now, how does that sound? Well, what if he's innocent? He seemed I don't know, he didn't seem like the person they described him as. His life is less important than tonight's undertaking, Lola. As difficult as that may be for you to understand. The trial is starting. It's your choice. Either ensure Roberto Spaghetti doesn't leave the nine circles, or maybe try your luck with another monarch. If you haven't already burned those bridges, that is. Fuck it, we're in. Andy. <laughs> Ready? Uh, I was like, we had the choice of another monarch? We... Were you, uh, not really, because, like, from what I remember, the last monarch, like, disappeared. Oh, okay. And it, like, went off the deep end. So these two are the only ones that have, like, really been available to us. Okay. I bet you I can do him if I fuck up her shit. Right, like it's it's an only option. Yeah, are you humping a tree? You want to get in on this? <laughs> I'm, I'm good, bro. So. <laughs> the wrong carpal tunnel, whatever. <laughs> Ladies and gentle demons, the tribunal is now in session. For the prosecution, Shit, he knows it's us too. Six hundred nine convictions uh. and counting. The toxic tongue flatterer, the legal eagle, the hapus capus, your very own butter and egg man, Malamar. Thank you, thank you. Now, my record speaks for itself. But I'd like to add that that achievement has been achieved, not because I have sought convictions, but because at every turn I have sought justice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And for the defense, uh, slight change of plans, but no matter. For the defense, by special appointment, Andreolfus and Wetzelfrau. Uh, I need a drink. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Here, here! Where's the bomb at? Mixologist. Oh, brother. Spare me your ill-gotten sense of self-worth. And just get me something with gin in it, will you? <laughs> and for you, a madam. Uh, look with courage, double talk, charming. I feel like charming might be good. Yeah, because I'm not quite sure what double talk is supposed to be. Maybe it's like Garrus, <laughs> like two tone oh. voice. <laughs> Sexy. Okie dokie, everyone. Everyone's got their butts in, got their drinks. Okay. Let's get these trials going. I got a Massachusetts man. I wish I could ever face frontwards. Yeah. All right. The dishonorable Judge Tenneville is presiding. Hi, everyone. Hi, Judge Tenneville. Yeah, <laughs> hi, cheers. What's the first, uh, you know, whatever? Case number 899, the city of nowhere versus Roberto Spaghetti. Oh, shit. This is ours. I mean, the one Polly wants thrown. The defendant is accused of going on a murderous rampage at a carnival and then lighting a carousel on fire. 
my goodness, my friends. Hi, how are you on this beautiful evening? Why, another open and shut case. Start plotting the action. No, no, you, you, your honor. We know to a certainty that a warlock stole my client's identity. Using hair samples to create a twisted, rancorous version of Roberto to get back at the carnival. That Hard pause, because okay. my, th my thought is that maybe, because I'm trying, I'm not so sure if I want to fucking throw this. Right. Because maybe we'll get the chance at the other guy, and maybe Lucifer will still just let us fucking go, because we ended up helping him prevent a coup. That is true. We do have the information against her. Yeah, like... I, I just don't know where to go with this. I don't like, either. I feel like I'd want to help Lucifer a little bit more than her. She seems more ruthless. She really does. I mean, because she's more than willing to just be like, eh, fuck it. You know, like, one, I'm, one life for what? Like, what's her plan? Yeah. Yeah. Like, That's why I'm like, I don't, I don't understand yeah. why throwing this case right. would, help. would help her. But and we still have to drink her under the table. To, to get her seal? Yeah. Like, yeah, and I don't... I feel like there has to be... A, it wouldn't be just like... A, I mean, it could be, I guess. Might Kojima's be done weirder th things. But I mean, he like... Really I was gonna say, I don't think it would be like a game over. Probably not. I think there'd be like another option. Like, to get to Lucifer still. Mm -hmm. and like, But like, that's why I'm like... Uh, like, Lucifer seemed like an alright dude. <laughs> He just seemed a little For disinterested in stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, like, maybe he'd be interested in, like, a coup happening, you know? Right. I think this might be a good place to stop, though. It is. In the middle, right before all this fucking happens. <laughs> so, we'll catch you guys on the next episode. Uh, yeah. So, until then. Bye. bye.